Question number five from modern physics and nucleus and a very straightforward question. This says that this thorium with 230 to 90 decays into lead and N alpha and N beta are the number of alpha particle and beta particles which are emitted. Beta of course is beta minus. One has to be careful because there is beta plus as well. Now we need to calculate the number of alpha particles and the number of beta particles which are emitted. Let's see if I make the equation here 23290 thorium is going to be converted into lead by number of decays 212.82 plus an alpha is the number of alpha particle and alpha particle is the helium nucleus straightforward plus and beta, the beta minus, so that will be minus one zero, plus the number of antineutrinos which would be coming. I'm not much focused on the antineutrino. If you wish, you can write n beta times the antineutrino. I am not interested on this, reason being that this is not going to participate in the atomic number and the mass number. Now, you know, in any nuclear decay, the mass number and the atomic number is conserved. So using the principle here, what you could see is 232 would be equals to 212 plus 4 times an alpha. And this is 20, 20 by 4, that will be 5. In other words, number of alpha particles emitted is 5. Then the number of beta particle. Here, the second one would be 90 equals to 82 plus, this is 5, so 5 into 2, that's going to be 10, minus of n beta. We are just, you know, conserving the atomic number now. And when you do that, n beta comes out to be 2. So number of alpha particles emitted is 5, number of beta particles emitted is 2. So question number 5 for this particular decay the option correct would be option number A and option number C. That was a straightforward indeed. Now let's move to question number six.